Today I'm going to show you how to make 10 build hacks for your kitchen in Blacksburg. Before the video starts, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm making a very big announcement soon and you probably don't want to miss it. Also, Capto helped me make a few of these build hacks, so go subscribe to him. He's less than 150 away from his goal of 4,000 subscribers. The link is in the description if you want to help. But with that being said, let's start off with the first build hack. This might just look like a normal kitchen, but there's actually a custom feature on the fridge. If you click on the water dispenser, you will be able to pour a drink. This is not a feature on the fridge, so here's how to make it. Place an arctic fridge. You need this fridge for it to work because it has a water dispenser. Next, get a glass beverage dispenser and rotate it so the spigot is at the back. Now get a transparent cube and make the width and length as small as possible. Put the beverage dispenser on top of the cube and color the glass to any color you want. Now use the transform tool to push it into the the water dispenser. Make sure the glass is slightly sticking through so you'll be able to interact with it. Now get out of build mode and fill up the glass with any drink you want. And that's it. You now have a functioning water dispenser. If you need to add some more decoration to your kitchen, this is a good way to do it. Putting pots and pans on the stove makes it look like your kitchen is actually being used. This is surprisingly easy to make. First, place a basic shape and scale it to be as small as possible. Then duplicate it for each item you want on your stove. I'm placing two. Now, find the cookware set and place any of the items on your basic shapes. And finally, select each basic shape and transform it to be on top of the stove. And just like that, you now have cookware on your stove. This build hack allows you to put custom pictures on your fridge, and as you can see, it looks like they're being held up by magnets. Here's how you can make it. Start by placing a transparent cube and scaling it to be as small as possible. Now duplicate it for each picture you want on your fridge. Then place a taped photograph on the front of each cube. And finally, transform them to the door of your fridge. You can then get out of build mode and change each picture to whatever you want. If you're trying to make your kitchen stand out, a custom island would be a good way to do that. This one is a little more difficult to make, but it's definitely worth it. Place a cube and scale the width and height to however big you want your island to be. I did 0.5 on width and 3.75 on height. Paint your cube to the color and texture you want your island to be. Then use the medium grid to rotate and place duplicated cubes in this pattern. Now you can use the transform tool to move the cubes into place. Once you finish, it should look something like this. Now get a smooth cube and scale it to be a countertop. I did 3.15 long and 1.3 wide. Color your cube and place it in the middle of the counter. Duplicate the countertop and put one on each cube. Then use the scale tool and transform tool to clean up the edges. If you want, you can add some extra details with small square beams and you can also add some lights and chairs. And now you have a nice custom island for your kitchen. Another good way to make your kitchen look like it's being used is to add dirty dishes to the sink. To make this, place a few transparent cubes and scale them to their smallest size. Then search for tableware and put any of the items on each cube. I like to use the marble texture because it makes the objects look a bit used. And the last thing you need to do is transform the cubes into your sink. Now you have a sink filled with dirty dishes. Putting a strip of lights underneath your cabinets can be an easy way to brighten up your kitchen. All you need to do is get a horizontal neon light and click this button to change to custom placement. Now use the small grid and place a light under your cabinets. And the last thing to do is change the color of your lights. If the lights look too small, you can use the transform tool to bring it down a bit. And as you can see, you now have LED lights under your cabinets. A common thing you'll find in many kitchens is a cookie jar, and as you can see, this jar is filled with real cookies. Here's how to make it. Start off by baking some cookies. Once they're finished, place the cookies on a counter and separate them into portions. Now go into build mode and place a glass jar. Color the stuff inside the jar to a similar color as your cookies. I used bright orange. Place transparent cubes and scale them all down. Now put one cookie on each cube. Make sure the cubes are close to the jar so that it'll be easier to put them in. Use the transform tool to select each cube and move them into the jar. This can take some time, so be patient. Once you're happy with how your cookie jar looks, you're finished. If you want, you can eat the cookies, but then you'll have to redo the placement. A lot of people already know about custom wall textures, but it's a kitchen build hack, and I feel like it deserves to be on the list. All you need to do is place a square decal. Get out of build mode and find a decal you like. Resize the decal until the texture looks normal, then duplicate the decal until your wall is covered. And that's it. You now have a custom wall texture. 
A cool way to give your kitchen some more depth is to make this custom sink. This one is also a bit complicated, so make sure to pay attention. First, place a commercial sink and color it to match your kitchen. Now, place a cube. Scale the length to 4.65 and scale the height to 1.6. Now, color it to match your cabinets. Next, place a beveled cube on top of the original cube. Scale the height to 0.25, length to 5, and width to 2.75. Then, make it the same color as your countertops. Place two vertical planks to make doors. Now use the medium grid to equally transform each plank. Bring both of the planks up using the large grid and put some small square beams in this order. Use the small grid and place a beam on the top and bottom. Then place the sides like this. Repeat this process on the other door then transform both doors back down. Now make two small spheres and transform them down to make handles. The last step is to move it into place. And as you can see, you now have a very cool custom sink. And finally, the last build hack is food on a cutting board. This is an easy way to give your kitchen some more colors. Here's how to make it. Place a large cutting board, knife block, and picnic basket. Now get out of build mode and put some food on your countertop. All you need to do is move the objects around and color them to your preference. And that's it. This is what it should look like. And that was 10 kitchen build hacks in Bloxburg. Make sure to comment what your favorite build hack was. Also, thank you for 103,000 subscribers. That's a very big number. Once again, I'm making a big announcement on Twitter in a few days, so make sure to follow and turn on notifications. The link is in the description. But that's it for me, I hope you enjoyed, and make sure to stick around for the next video.